Hi, my name is Matt Pritchard and I'm the Director of the Innovation, Monitoring and Learning Division of the Chores Livelihoods Programme. This is a short video about the CLP and my recent verification visit to the Chores. The CLP works up in the far northwest of Bangladesh, focusing on the riverine islands of the Jamuna and Padma rivers. These are called Chores in Bangla and they are constantly shifting as the yearly rains and occasional floods both deposit and erode them. The CLP provides a package of assistance to poor households on the chores to help them escape from extreme poverty. It carries out most of its work through implementing organisations or IMOs. These are usually local non-governmental organisations or charities that are active in the programme's target area. The CLP's assistance is carried out in phases called cohorts and lasts 18 months, focusing on around 12,100 households per cohort. One of the IMO's responsibilities is to identify potential participants for each cohort. Once they have submitted their lists to the CLP's head office, a random sample of 5% of the households is selected for verification. Senior managers of the CLP, such as myself, go out into the chores to interview the potential participants to ensure they meet the criteria. The criteria are strict. The CLP aims to work with the poorest of the poor, so it's vital to make sure it's targeted at the right households. Participants have to be landless, assetless and jobless. This means they cannot own any land, even the land their house is on. Nor can they be sharecroppers. They must have no or very few income generating assets such as livestock and they cannot have a regular job that earns them more than 5,000 taka per month which is about 46 pounds. If too many potential participants in the 5% random sample fail the criteria the IMO will be asked to redo the process. The chores that I was assigned for my verification visits are remote so we had to take a variety of modes of transport to get to them. Cars, motorboats, country boats, motorbikes and, of course, good old-fashioned walking got us there. Once we'd located the homesteads, we interviewed each of our randomly selected participants, asking them a series of questions to check that they were among our target group. What's your name? I'm Samadani. What's your name? Mohammed Sofi. Sofi, do you have a lot of money? Yes, I have a lot of money. How many days? Two years. Why do you have a lot of money? Although the chores are beautiful, the people that we spoke to told of lives that were extremely hard, marked by their vulnerability to floods and limited by the lack of livelihood options and services. One lady told us that she had moved home 20 times in the last few years due to river erosion and floods. In many villages, children played or helped around the home. There were no schools for them to go to. Even having a school building and an assigned teacher wasn't necessarily the end of the battle. And, uh, most of the students are waiting for the teacher, but yeah. some days the teacher would not come. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it must be difficult for children on the chores to get a good education. Yeah. It sounds like it's quite yeah. sporadic. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes the teacher comes, sometimes a different teacher comes, sometimes no one comes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As we continued our travels around the chores, interviewing potential CLP participants, we heard very similar stories. Chores dwellers live with almost no institutional support, no local government services, no charities, very few other development projects. They are almost entirely self-reliant. And their vulnerability was made very clear to me as we used boats to float into people's compounds to carry out our interviews. They were living in two feet of water, waiting for the river's recent flood to die down. But I managed to witness firsthand what a difference the CLP could make. So that is one of the early CLP plinths yep. doing its job, keeping people mm -hmm. out of the river. Mm -hmm. And when you see how hard people's lives are, mm -hmm. every little bit helps, doesn't it? 
We finished the last of our interviews and headed home, and I was very glad that the IMO had done an excellent job of identifying our participants. All of the people in our random sample passed our criteria and would soon start to get support that would almost certainly change their lives forever. As we watched the chores scenery drift past us, we could reflect on a job well done. And the sights, sounds and experiences of my first trip to the chores will certainly stay with me forever. <laughs>